you know, one of the films that was coming out uh, this part of the year that I've been really quite interested in has been the Octavia Spencer film Ma. The trailers came out. They look pretty fascinating. They looked pretty good. And I love me some Octavia Spencer. This lady can just do no wrong on screen. When she's on screen, she can do it all. And I love her. And this was something, the trailers for Ma are something like nothing I've ever seen her play that type of a role before. I finally had a chance to go out and see a screening of Ma last night. My overall impressions are this. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more. I was hoping that it would stretch beyond the premise that it presents in the trailer just a little bit. It doesn't really, what you see in the trailer, it really is what you get. And what you get is pretty good. Octavia Spencer gives a fantastic performance. She's great. It's a really good cautionary tale about how you treat other people. It, it really is. There's an underlying cautionary tale here about you treat people a certain way. Life is like a circle, as they say in uh, Megaforce. It all comes around <laughs> and it could come back to bite you in the ass a little bit later if you're not cautious and a little bit careful about it. And this is a movie that, for me, expresses that kind of moral of the story really, really well. Because a lot of times these types of movies try to have a moral of the story or a cautionary tale and it doesn't play out well. It plays out really well here. One of the things that did make me frustrated, though, was that when we all first saw the trailer, Rob, for Ma, Something all of us said was, it looks like they're giving a lot of the movie away in the trailer. To which we always go, but you know, who knows? For all we know, the stuff we're seeing in the trailer isn't giving anything away, really. This, These trailers gave a lot of this movie away. <laughs> these trailers give a lot of this movie away. This is, of course, one of the most uh, striking images from the trailers that come out and having seen the movie no you y'all were right that's really some a big thing in the movie much, very very late in the movie that they really should not have given away i think there is a way to market this movie to make it feel like something's not right something is creepy here this this older lady letting teenagers come and party at her house blah 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 after watching the movie, I did walk out really feeling, God, I wish they didn't show us some of the stuff they showed us in the trailer. Because it could have been so effective watching it on the big screen for the first time. It could have worked so well on that level. But because I'd already seen it in the trailer, I knew we were going there, it lost some of its impact. That notwithstanding, again, pretty solid movie. Octavia Spencer gives an incredible performance in it. Tate Taylor, who was her director in The Help, and he also, uh, uh, the James Brown movie. Uh, get On Up. Get On Up. He directed, get, I, I love Tate Taylor as a director. He does a very good job, although he has no idea how to write teenagers because I didn't believe <laughs> a single one of the teenagers in this movie at all. And I don't blame the little actors on that. I, I just, I don't really felt like they knew how to write teenagers. That's one of the weaknesses of the film. Overall, good time, kind of creepy. I really just wish they'd handled their marketing a little bit differently and, and not given away so much in the movie. That could have been pretty impactful when I saw it for the first time. So that's my thoughts on it. I, have you been interested in this one, Rob? I'm dying to see it. I mean, it looks, it looks right up my alley. I mean, I, I, you know, a lot of people don't know how much I, into the horror genre I really am. Yeah, you, you're actually a big horror guy. You I'm love a huge horror. horror horror guy. I have been my whole life, and and this this is a premise that is, I think, irresistible. And like you said, it it has a great, like all great horror movies do, sort of an underlying message, a social message, and uh, I think that's that's good. And I can't, I love Octavia Spencer too. Oh, she's great. And, and she looks like she's having a ball in this movie. Yeah, she does. And you can <laughs> tell, on. you can tell she's getting to do some things in this movie that she probably has not really had the chance to do in a movie before. And she sinks her teeth into it. And she really does carry the film. She, she puts this film on her shoulders and she carries this premise to its best possible effect. Again, not a fantastic movie, but if you've been looking forward to Ma, I do think it's worth going out to see. I think you're going to have a pretty good time. So that's my thoughts on Ma.